Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be focusing more on what is kind of uh, domain expertise is required when you would like to test an e-commerce application. So what kind of knowledge do you really require to test an e-commerce application? So I'm going to give a complete view. What are the different uh, aspects the tester should have the knowledge to test the e-commerce application? So in this video, I'll be covering in detail the different uh, knowledge or domain skill is required to test this e-commerce application for the tester. So before moving further, before moving further to further discuss about in detail about all the aspects of e-commerce testing domain, if you guys are not subscribed to Testing Shala YouTube channel till now, then please click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and when we publish our new videos. So let us move on to understand what is all about e-commerce testing so before get to know what is all about e-commerce testing so how earlier the entire business used to work when there was no online when there was no online people used to go to small kirana shop or small small shops which are there in the next the, next to their premises and they will go and buy it there or they will go to wholesale people who are there in the central part of the city from there, people used to go and buy it. Now you can imagine it is getting wasted, lot of people's time. There is no value for the time. And uh, uh, all the time, the local vendors were dominating the things because there is no other alternative. Let's say whatever the price this guy is going to say, that is the final price. Then you can imagine we cannot go to other place. Even if I wanted to go to other place, I have to shell out. Uh, petrol charges, diesel charges, then I have to waste my personal time to going to different places and I should buy it and come here. Now again, whatever the expenses which happens for all these activities, then we'll say, okay, we'll buy it from this guy only. So because of that lot of monarchy or uh, they, you can say uh, there is no co competition is there. One person is only growing and we have to live with that guy. That's how the earlier businesses were. Now, because of this e-commerce, now you can imagine even the person selling from Kashmir, still I can buy it in sitting in Bangalore. The person sitting in Kashmir, he can buy the items which is selling by the Tamilians. You can imagine anybody can buy anywhere, anywhere sitting in their home or wherever. That is the beauty of the e-commerce, right? That is the beauty of the e-commerce, right? Without e-commerce, it, it is not very easy. Otherwise, people will get dominated themselves in their own spaces. And one good thing is, especially e-commerce is very good for small businesses because big businesses, anyhow, it will survive because they have a lot of money. They can buy big malls. They can... Uh, display their products in big big malls and still they can sell it but think about uh, small businesses small businesses for them it is very struggle because they don't have big investment in them when they not have a big investment the e-commerce application comes handy for them so that they can display their products for many people across the world in a click of button now you can imagine what is the benefit which normally an e-commerce e uh, application is providing and also as i was saying it is more convenience to the people as well because by sitting at home i can shop anything which i wanted rather than going miles of away from here and i'm going to buy certain things then again come then i'll be end up wasting full half a day or a one day in buying one small piece of item and this is very convenient e-commerce would be very convenient for many people to buy everything from there just sitting at home. Then next one is scalable. We can scale as well. Let's say today 10 items getting sold, next 20, 30, then we can uh, order, you can keep adding more products. If it is just a small shop without e-commerce, even if I invest uh, 100 items, will buy nobody will buy and it will become a dead stock and we'll get into a losses here 
e-commerce we can just buy 10 items we can display if people are showing more interest then i will keep buying i will keep adding it to the cart or to the product list then i can expand my business like anything that is the advantages of e-commerce applications then here you can market your products also you can use all social media platforms you can use your websites or you can promote in other platforms online but uh, in other way of in olden days only tv advertisements were there other than that newspaper advertisement then these advertisements are very expensive and it is very difficult to market if you do not have a big amount of money in this area another important factor is reach earlier when we start our small business the reach is only for maybe i can say 1000 people or 2000 people now you can imagine you are reach to the million people or millions of people across the globe it is not just your area or your road your product can get visible across the world if you use properly all the social media all the platforms which is available online then you can reach like anything people your product can see by anybody across the world that is the biggest of advantages of e-commerce hence people really likes to go to e-commerce space now let us understand what are the different types of e-commerce applications are there one is b2b applications are there alibaba or indian mart where business people will sell for business people only like wholesalers manufacturers will sell for business people in the same way b2c website b2 b2c websites are like amazon flipkart where wholesalers manufacturers will come and uh, display their products there and uh, individuals or customers are going to buy the your products from there then c2b websites or port uh, portals where freelancer fivers they will uh, display their skills and they will say i am going to help you for 5 dollars i am going to support this for 10 dollars or something like that that is also an another kind of e-commerce platform for you are sharing your knowledge sharing your skill or sharing your work with somebody else something like that then let us understand what is really the domain expertise required in order to test the e-commerce application one is user registration aspect you should know very clearly this is a core functionality without a, uh, customer data without a customer data no e-commerce application works hence the user registration process how the user study what are the different kinds of user all these aspects you should know when you are trying to test an e-commerce application this knowledge is very crucial then login functionality also should know different kinds of login user based login or authentication login or fingerprint login you name it whatever the different aspects for login with the latest technology that kind of knowledge you should know then uh, searching the users or searching the products then product listing service listing all these aspects how to test what kind of different way we can list all this knowledge you should be aware then order management the order management itself a core area where people are going to come and order in your website e-commerce application that means you should know complete order management workflow for your given product that is the expertise you should bring in order management skills is a uh, common you use it in any products or application but you should have a clear idea, idea on how really the order management works then wish list uh, what is all about wish list all these items also you should know then uh, different payment gateways how, how payment things are getting integrated different gateways how the payment is getting transferred how the payments are getting updated all this knowledge you should be having clear cut idea before you are going to test it in uh, e-commerce application then refunds option let's say after your delivery maybe after two or three days if the customer doesn't like your product then he may return the product then when he is going to return the complete flow of returning uh, returning or refunding will happen that also how it works also you should have a clear idea if you, without having a proper idea you cannot really test the e-commerce application that's why you should have the domain knowledge in this area as well are the complete uh, refund process 
then online transaction or processing like all the things which we are doing online everything you should know then electronic data interchange edi from one integration to another integration then web services because these days amazon supports all the web services people can access their application by different vendors using their services which is called as web services you should have a clear idea about what is all about web services as well then api testing because amazon or uh, flipkart it exposes its own apis the customer can customize and they can pump millions of records in one time right from the back end using apis hence you should know how the api works what are the different way it exposes api how to test all those things you should know as a tester when you wanted to test an e-commerce application then supply chain and inventory management also you should know without knowing what is all about supply chain inventory management you cannot uh, be an expert in the e-commerce domain you should uh, get an idea what is all about supply chain inventory management and sessions cookies because especially for affiliates right the cookies or session uh, times also will be useful because they will keep for one day session for any shopping or cookies they will keep to give your wish list or uh, your recommendations all those aspects make use of cookies uh, to get that information hence you should have a clear idea as a tester how you are going to have this kind of knowledge on sessions and cookie validations then the 15th is very crucial shopping cart this is a core uh, thing in uh, any e-commerce application you should well was how the shopping cart really works you should have complete knowledge on the shopping cart and procurement history as well how you are procuring the product from the different vendor and you are going to list it in your amazon or flipkart uh, to get uh, your product uh, delivered or your product is getting listed there the 17th is reward points especially these reward points will be the more you buy especially travel e-commerce sites or banking e-commerce sites where the based on the way you are going to purchase based on the product you are going to purchase they will re give you some rewards reward points and how the reward reward system is going to work in your e-commerce application all those things you should know clearly otherwise you cannot go and test uh, something like that if you would really to become a e-commerce testing then you should know in and out of what is all about reward point systems as well and purchase history so these are the some of the area these are the some of the area which you become master yourself let's say if you would like to really become a tester in the e-commerce space only you have an uh, dream that you have to become an expert or you wanted to be a tester in specific to the e-commerce domain then at least i am recommending you should read all these things you should understand the complete expertise in this area then in jump into the testing the e-commerce applications otherwise uh, people will laugh at you when you are not going to know about all these things and still you are going and testing e-commerce applications at least till now at least uh, whatever i have given information i am hoping uh, you guys uh, really enjoyed watching this video and also i am hoping this video was very useful for you guys to understand what all the domains knowledge you should really require to work in the e-commerce space i hope you really like this video if you really like this video then please give a thumbs up and if you guys are not subscribed to testing shala youtube channel till now then please click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox as and when we publish our new videos thanks for watching this video bye for now take care